Hey, what's up, Rise of Kingdoms? It's Bye Bye here. Today, I will introduce to you guys a new commander tier list. So, in this commander tier list, I will go over each commander one by one, and uh, I will give them score uh, based on open field, one versus one, CD Hop, Rally, Gear Asin, Arc of Osiris, Sunset Cannon. And at the end, we gotta get an overall score for the commanders. So because the tier list is a, like a very very detailed tier list, so each video I can only go over one commander at a time. I do want to explain to you guys why I gave the commanders the ranks that they deserve. Um, so today we gotta start with Joan of Arc Prime. Okay, she is the hottest commander right now in my opinion. So let's go ahead and look at some of the categories that we got give her the score. Um, so I'm gonna put the uh, first commander on the tier list at the bottom here, and we'll go over each uh, criteria. So let's go to the first one, which is um, open field. Okay. So in terms of open field, as of right now, I believe she is definitely the best open field commanders. So I would give her a 10, a score of 10, right? 10 out of 10, okay? So this, the score system is 10 out of 10, right? So instead of making it like S rank, A rank, B rank, I think it's, it's just a lot easier to give them a score, right? Each commander a score here, and then we'll tally the score up at the end and give them a total, okay? So open field, I think Joan of Arc Prime right now, 100% hand out the best, the best open field commanders, right? I think her AOE skill damage of 2000 with that like 100% chance to get the skill every two, like every 10 turns, I think, 10, 12 turns. It's just a crazy amount of like AOE skill damage you can get from her. Uh, she also bringing in like a rage engine for your team. Um, very, very nice amount of stat bonus. Very, very nice amount of like a counter attack damage as well. I think. It's just overall she just she can just dish out so much skill damage, especially at the like AOE meter. I think she is just definitely one of the best like open field commander right now in my opinion. One v one situation, okay. So like in terms of one v one, I also believe that there are not that many commander right now that can even beat her in like a one v one fight. I mean like. Her ability to dish out 4,000 damage, 4,000 skill damage. Like even though she losing out on that like AOE aspect of in when she, when it comes to like a one v one fight, she's still bringing in that like 4,000 skill damage. Or if you average it out, it's 3,000 skill damage, right? Because it's she cast it every every two turns, like every two lives, every every two skill life cycle. Okay, so like very very high amount of skill damage. Decent amount of rage engine for herself. Um, damage attack bonus 20% for cavalry. Um, she also have that like normal attack damage bonus. I mean like she bring it like she bring in a lot, okay? And this one here, like cavalry damage bonus 5%. Even increase the normal attack damage bonus as well, right? High attack, high skill damage, like very, very high damage output. And this skill right here give like cavalry more health. I mean like High skill damage, high normal attack damage, decent amount of health bonus. Like, what else can you ask for? And with her expertise, you get 5% more counter attack damage uh, when the target troop has more than 30% unit remaining, which is most of the five. A troop led by this commander deal 5% more damage. So much, so much more damage increase. And even in like a 1v1, like I haven't done a lot of a 1v1 testing, but in my opinion, right now, I honestly don't see that many commander can beat her in, in a 1v1. Maybe Nevsky, okay? Maybe Nevsky can beat her in 1v1. So I would, I, I would give her a 10 as well, or like a 9.5. I give her a 10. 10 or 9.5. Okay, let's give her a 9.5, okay? Like, I, I just don't see that many commander can beat her in a 1v1, right? 
Like you tell me if you if you think I'm wrong, give me a name. Right now, I can only think of one, which is Nevsky. I think only only Nevsky right now can beat her in in like a one v one. Uh, I I just don't see any other commanders that could beat her. Okay, CD Hop. Right next category, we got CD Hop. So for her, right, she has that ability to cast very very nice amount of AOE skill damage. But I do believe that she still consider a little squishy commander. So in terms of like when you do CD Hop, let's say if you have an enemy, they kind of like waiting outside your city and they ready to swarm you down. Uh, she is not the best choice to bring her out because you do need to let her cast her skill right so like for some time you might try to like overstay just because you want her to cast the skill and i think that is when you might get swarmed down to death okay so in that in, in that kind of a situation when there are so many enemy outside you see and they kind of are waiting to, for you to come out she might not be the best choice but like in a situation where you have an enemy merchant outside your city and they kind of like afk they're not paying attention you can bring her out, casting a couple skill, run back in, right? So in that situation, she can work. Um, so like she's not like a perfect, perfect C hop commanders, but you could use her depend on situation. Um, so I would give her like a seven, okay, a seven for C hop because she she can work. Um, and I think if you if you build her right, you might able to you might able to to do it. For example, for example, you could go with like. You could go with XY, right? XY, uh, Joan of Arc Prime, and you could put that uh, Horn of Fury on XY, right? So that you can cast your skill very, very fast and jump in the CD. Uh, it's a little risky, right? a little risky with XY and Joan of Arc Prime, like CD hopping. I mean, like, if I am outside your CD and you bring your XY and Joan of Arc Prime out, and you're gonna be dead to me. <laughs> Because I'm ready all the time, unless, I mean, I'm eating something and I'm playing with one, one hand, then maybe you can get away. But depend on situation, right? Sometimes it can work. If you know that the enemy doesn't pay enough attention to you, you can, you can, you, it could work, right? XY and Joan of Arc Prime come out very, very fast cast skill. You can dish out some really, really nice skill damage and run back inside the C, okay? So 7, I think 7 is a good score for her for C hop. Uh, next one, let's talk about Rally. Uh, I've seen people using her for rally, uh, flags, uh, gate. Um, I think rally the gate was good. I think because of her AOE skill damage, she can prevent the enemy from reinforcing the gate. Uh, she can also hit on counter rally, right? Uh, she is a little squishy, okay? Right? When it comes to like big players swarming down her, um, you might not able to kind of like reinforcing the rally fast enough. And in terms of like a single fight against the structure, she might not be the best best choice right now because most of her skills are utilized on the open field, right? So is there any no specific skills that can work in in like a rally situation? So like some of the other commanders, they might not able to beat her in like a 1v1 on the open field. But when it comes to a rallying structure, there are other skills kick in. For example, let, let's say if we have... Um, uh some what are like for attila for example right like attila have that uh skill that when he rally um this one second skill right right so this one right here when it when attacking stronghold city a uh, triple basic let basic commander gain five percent damage bonus defend reduction 25 percent to the target right so that when you do like a 1v1 test this one doesn't kick in right so joan of arc prime might have the upper hand but when it comes to like rallying rallying structure some of the commanders they do have that like specific skills that only work for when you rally structure right so uh there might be some better commanders than her but i wouldn't say she not like usable for rally right i've seen many people using her for rally and it can work and it's also depend on your your team reinforcement as well and sometimes it also depend on the battlefield like how how, how much of like uh your troop how, how many uh allies you have behind the rally to, to reinforce the rally right i think to reinforce the rally like effectively to keep the rally always above uh 1.5 million for for flag rally or like 2.5 million for gate rally it, it's very very important it can affect the outcome of the, the rally by a lot um i do i do like the idea of using her rally for like either doing gate rally or counter on the gate rally um 
flag rally maybe not too much um but could be it could use like if you see there are like people's trying to reinforce the reinforce the flag and you try to get some like aoe value in but i think in my opinion i think she's best to use for like gate rally or um counter gate rally because there are so many enemy behind the gate sometimes they try to come out and, and you might be able to get that aoe skill damage value in uh for flag rally sometimes people just hit stay inside the city it could be difficult to hit the marches okay so uh, for rally, I would give her like an 8, right? Usable. I've seen many people using her before. But is she a perfect option? I, I honestly don't think she's like a perfect option right now. But hey, I've seen people using her here and there, right? Um, and and it's, it, she provides good outcome right, for the rally. Okay. Uh, get it in. Oh, shoot. What happened here? Um, should you be using her for get it in? Okay. So like her fourth skill is probably one of her best skill, right? That help her casting her active skill once again. Only work when she on the map. So you can be losing out on that aspect if you're using her for get S in your city. Um but like, she does have a very very high amount of skill damage. Her stat is okay. Uh but I wouldn't recommend you to use her for get S in. Uh in terms of get S in, I would give her either like a five or six. I'll give her a five point five, okay? For get S in. All right, makes sense. Um, all right, next one. Let's talk about Ark of Osiris or the Osiris League season. I think it's pretty very very um, easy to spot her in OL. If you guys expected some of the OL match now, you'll see her being used a lot. <laughs> I think she is definitely the top tier commander right now in Ark of Osiris. Very very versatile. Very very fast. Right. I mean, like outside of the land territory, additional ten percent mark speed bonus. So she bringing in that twenty percent mark speed bonus in arc. A uh, very very nice amount of AOE skill damage for the murder ball fight in the middle. Um, fast for for reinforced building can be can you can use her for rally structure as well. I mean, like I would definitely give her a ten right now. Okay, right. I honestly don't see any other commanders that can top her right now in Ark of Osiris. Uh, she's definitely my number one choice. If I had to pick, let's say if you say, okay, bye bye, pick one commander to use in Ark. Joan of Ark Prime, hand down. I would pick her over Nevsky. <laughs> Nevsky is good, but I think Joan of Ark Prime bring a lot more value for that big ass murder ball fight in the middle. Okay. Uh, Sunset Canyon, okay. Uh, let's say if you love using, like, let's say if you kind of like competitive in Sunset Cannon, you wanna uh, get some like good commander for Sunset Cannon. Joan of Art Prime is a very, very good choice, man. She, she in the back row, your Joan of Art Prime in the back row can be crazy. <laughs> if you put her with like either XY Joan or Nevsky Joan in the back, I mean, like, the, da the, the, the damage she can deal is just not okay. Uh, I would pick her. I would definitely pick her for like Sunset Cannon backline. Um, crazy, crazy amount of skill damage. Um, and I would definitely give her. I mean, like I want to give her a ten. I think I think she could be a ten. I I think she definitely a ten. Like Rage Engine for your other marches. Crazy amount of AOE skill damage. Crazy amount of like damage boost increase. I mean, like she gotta be a ten for Sunset Cannon she has to be right but i honestly don't see any other reason to give her like a deduction here like a 0 0.5 or like a one point deduction on her sunset cannon like i myself using her in sunset cannon okay uh, i have her i have her in, her in my defense lineup or oh, i did not today monday okay so i use her with uh, nevsky and john in the back i'm i'm running two cavalry match in the back here xy uh, XY William, Nevsky Zone, very very strong back line. I've beat some VAP 18 player before, okay. But against him, I'm not VAP 18. <laughs> so like sometimes it's hard for me to defend, okay. Um so here are kind of like the scores that um that I gave her. Like very, very high score. Like one of the latest commander here, and I would say she is pretty OP right now. And if you haven't get her, you gotta get her, man. So let me give, let, let do a total score here. Sum of pH five. Yeah, I think it's about right. She with a total score of sixty. Okay, right. 
So here is the total score for her. Uh, let me bring back um, that tier list here. Okay. So this is going to be the tier list that I prepare. Okay. So the first commander today is John of Arc Prime. The total score is 60. And I think you can look at this score right here and to help you decide on should you, which commander should you be investing on. And for future video, I will be working on some of the other commander as well, right? going over some other commanders. And I'll put them below here, right? And then you can just go to the uh, link that I provide in the comment section below. And you can just view the list of like all the commander, right? And you see the score that I gave them. Um, so right now, uh, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of doing like the category for open field, 1v1, CD Hop, Rally, Gear Asin, Ark of Osiris, and Sunset Canon. I kind of, I kind of, I, I cannot think of any other categories that I might put in here. But if you guys have uh, any other good idea of like, oh, maybe this could be a good category that you should be rating the commander on, then tell me. Let me know, and I, I try to fit them in, and we'll, we'll talk about it in the next video, okay? Alright, thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.